okay hey guys welcome back to my channel this is going to be a 30th breakdown check all right so um i have my financial you could say planner or notebook where i break down all my checks on the left side i have my sinking fund and on the right side is where i write down how i'm gonna use my money so I'm gonna take another ruler and a marker and make my line, make my line here. And I get paid on 130.20. And I am going to get a total of 1,685.49 cents. Now, I am going to be for household, household, it's going to be 500, for housing, saving I mean, saving, it's going to be 400, and then I'll finally be able to close the savings off, then food, 150, um, then my HL loan, it's going to be 100, um, my phone is 50, and I already paid off my phone, this is just like my service, um, my Sprint service, then laundry, laundry is going to be 20. Um, I'm going to hopefully save another 300 So this could help me start up my second savings. Because I have one savings through one account. And then I want to start a Chase savings, which the minimum to start it is 300 So hopefully this will be able to open that up so I can get motivated to start saving money and I'll actually see it. Because this one I get statements like every couple months. So I never like see it. I only see it when I write it in my notebook. Um, then I have me money me money and that is 165 so the 165 I'm gonna split up um I'm gonna put 50 towards BJ's and then 30 towards Maine oh guys and I got my cash envelopes finally from Romina Rosa they're so cute I can't wait to share them um then I have two other cat cat two other two other categories. So I'm put other, and then I'll have overall sixty five for me. Yeah, because um yeah. Because 165 for me is just too much, and I'd rather put it to my sinking funds. Alright, so this is my 30th paycheck breakdown. Um, you know what? Since we're already on it, I actually um had a hundred left in my 30th. So I decided to break this down further. Um, I actually had how much? A hundred. So I had a hundred. So maybe I should put it down here somewhere. I'm going to put it in purple so it stands out. So out of those hundred, I decided to take out 50. Yeah. So 50 for my sinking funds and then 50 for me because I didn't use my hundred for me money the whole um you could say the whole week and I don't plan on using it because I'm right now I'm doing my own nails um I haven't done my eyebrows I haven't done a wax so 
it's not gonna happen now but i just want to take out the money so that i don't spend it so i am going to stuff my cash envelope so i did get my new romina rosa cash envelopes look at this this is breaking you see shaking my head shaking my head look at that <laughs> they're so cute though i don't want to throw them out all right so like always i have my medical this is from romina rosa then if you saw my previous videos i told you i got three from romina rosa a main a bj's and gifts so this is my main one and i already transferred out the money because i was using this one for my main because this one hadn't arrived but now that it has it's so cute i just love it and I need to put that, I'm putting in 30 here. So let's do that now. Okay. So I have to put 30 here. I just, hopefully that's cute. Um, this is like bootleg, but it's okay. Because I ran out of my other ones that are thinner, but it's okay. So that's 30. Thirty. So this is my main cash envelope. I find it so cute. Then I have my BJ's and I already transferred the total I want to put in here is 350 when I go to BJ's. Um, and that this is like a Costco where I buy my like necessities in bulk, like um, toilet paper, bounties, a uh, detergent, you know, stuff like that. Um, olive oil, virgin olive oil. So, yeah, this is my BJ's, and then the one I got for gifts is so cute. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, so I have to start putting money in here. Which I can today because I had an extra 10. Alright, so back to what I was actually supposed to do. Um, so now this one I'm going to use for beauty stuff. So it's my personal, like my nails, my wax, my eyebrows, all that. So usually, I can tell you right now, I have for my nails... Without a massage, I give 26 for my nails. I give 13 for my eyebrows. And right now, I have, um, I bought a package. So, all I need to calculate is for tip for my wax. Um, so, in total, that makes... 26 plus 12 plus 13 is 51. So I took out 50, 50, and I had another. I didn't use all my fruit money from last week, so I took out the 10 and I kept 10 in my wallet. Um, so this 10 is gonna go in my gifts because it's extra. Like, yeah. If I don't use the fruit money that I take out, I'm just going to put it in my cash envelope. So whatever is left over, I'm going to put in here. All right. Now, I need to switch out a 20. And I know in one of my other videos, I was already like accumulating too many fives. I think it's this one. Tax payment. So I'm going to switch out for a 20. 5, 10... 15, 20. Put that in here. Yeah, look at all these fives. Crazy. And then I am going to put in 10, right? For eyebrows. Another 10 for wax. And then 3 plus 2 is 5. So right now that's eyebrows and wax. 10, 10, uh huh, and then 25. So all I'm missing is a dollar, which is okay. I can tip five dollars. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be for my personal. 
so now I have it and I like to pay all of these things in cash like wax tip is in cash eyebrows is in cash nails is in cash um so that's why I bought a cash envelope for that all right so now you know this is my 10 um for fun money bj's this is i'm gonna say gifts for myself when i travel because it's cheaper in other countries like the expensive like lv and stuff like that you know if i can afford it and this is my main excuse me um so yeah so hopefully if i have extra fruit money i'll probably put it in here just because like i don't know what i'm gonna use this for I guess I can use this to travel, like, wherever I want to go. And this would be, like, travel money. I think that's what I'm going to do. This is going to be, like, when I want to travel anywhere um, besides Maine. And then this will be travel money. So, yeah. Yes. So, this would be, like, for the air, the plane ticket and the hotel. And this would be, like, for me to go shopping, if that makes sense. Um, all right. Now, I am done with stuffing my cash envelopes. And they go back in. I'm going to put this one back in first. And then hopefully when I get paid the 30th, I can stuff some cash. Usually I'd never stuff cash envelopes on the 30th. But since I do have 165 left over, I can I decided to do 100 toward my cash envelopes. So 50 would go into here. Main would get 30, and then so 50 in here. Main would get 30, and then my others, which is this one, this would get 10, and this one would get 10. Yes, all right. Um, so that is my annuals. I don't need to put anything else in here, and then this one goes back into my personal. Oh my god, this is a mess. Doesn't oh it broke. It officially broke, guys. Yeah, look at that. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is throw I have to throw that out. I still have this green one. So with my extra cash envelopes. So what I'm gonna put do is put this here because it closes properly this off and just switch these out because extra cash envelopes doesn't need to have a working seal but I don't want to throw these out just in case like you know others and I'm definitely looking into the um, fireproof and waterproof one because I definitely want to get one of those oh I just I feel like I'll feel better about the security of Mamonishka. Um, Alright, so this is my 30th paycheck with a little bit of cash envelope stuffing. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!